Hey everyone, welcome to the Sanctum. This is Al. Today's pick a card reading is Is He Worth It? Simple. Sounds simple. But is it? Is he worth it? Is he worth the heartache that he's been putting you through? Is he worth the trouble that you've been going through? Is he worth all the effort? This is not a simple reading. Um, but at the same time, too, it is simple. Um, and it's simple in the sense of we're basically trying to see does the person you're with or maybe you're thinking about being with maybe you've gone on a couple of dates then you're wondering is he going to be worth it in the long run so that's what our goal is so I'm actually putting on some of the uh, as you may or may not know I do aromatherapy so I'm putting up some of my uplift happy on um, has some kumquat essential oil and blood orange and lime steam distilled lime and um, lemon it is like some of the most uplifting smells I have and it just makes you want to breathe in deep and go oh yes 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 yes, yes. makes you smell and feel a lot more with the program and happier so which is kind of what we need with this um kind of uh, uh intense reading we're about to do um is he worth it so we've got five card decks to five decks to choose from we have quantum quattro we have muakite we have lepidite we have the infinite stone and we have sodalite so what I want you to do is all the these have been bonded together. I've treated them all um, with a little bit of uh, incense as well as um, putting the energy of the stone to the deck. I want you to breathe, close your eyes and breathe in. Exhale slowly, open your eyes, and just pick which one you are first drawn to. You may be drawn to two decks, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to give you a second, and then we're going to start. Okay, so go ahead and take a look. All right, so we're going to actually begin with the infinite stone. And I know I never pick out the ones that in the order you think I should. It probably drives you guys crazy. <laughs> um, and the decks, just so you know, that we're using today, we're using the Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. Uh, John Holland's The Psychic Tarot of the Heart, The Romance Angels, um, Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, The Wisdom of the Oracle by uh, Colette Baron reed The Simple Tarot is by Angie Green as my um, extra read cards, and we will go from there. Okay? So... interesting so with this relationship you've been asking why why are you making me feel like this why are you putting me in this position to doubt us doubt everything that we're doing you've been getting feelings of anxiety of of types of emotions where you feel like you're off like you are feeling like he's pushing you away or she's pushing you away and you're wondering why that is and the seven of cups in reverse have come up and it's all about the fact that you feel like you're wishful thinking that it has been broken basically that it's almost like something has happened that is like broken your dreams on both sides his and yours um, or hers and yours and you feel almost like somebody else has kind of stepped in the way 
um, whether it's a rom romantic or not, this person has kind of um, stepped into the path here and has kind of not to say ruined your relationship, but is a mitigating factor for it. So you have to understand that opportunity beckons here. This is a chance for you to actually be honest with each other. Um, it's an opportunity to be like the Queen of Pentacles, that origin that says, hey, this is about being a, a, a supporter. It's about saying, hey, look, I'm here for you. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this through. L let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's sit down and talk this out. What do we need from each other? And what are we willing to give to each other? Um, do you really want this relationship or not? And this is going to be a big thing because it's going to spark some serious aspects. It's going to be a little bit of a rebellion. Um, he's not going to want, they're not going to want to call you for a day or two or maybe three. They're going to ignore your texts. Um, they're not going to want to talk to you on social media. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's not that they don't care and it's not that they don't want to do it. It's just that literally when you guys get into this deep talking stuff, it's going to scare the bejesus out of them. Like, no, seriously, it's literally going to scare the bejesus out of them. And they're going to be like all of a sudden in an area that they never thought they were in stuff that they actually have to sit back, look at and go, what the fuck? They've never had to do this before in a relationship. They've never had to actually think about others than themselves. They've never had to think about long term. Um, this is the first time ever that they've ever had to do that. And we know it's important because it's going to be about giving your relationship a chance. It's about the whole world, about completion and wholeness. Um, both of you want to feel whole. Both of you want to have a better chance of yourself together. And it's something that neither one of you have had because you guys have both felt alone for so long. So this is where it comes into talking, talking it out, um, seeking security, not necessarily hoarding things or hoarding your friends or family, but this comes into actually being open and honest. Um, the seeking of the long term security is more of the responsibility of, of self, if, of saying, hey, look, I have this big issue about being secure about um, needing security. I need somebody to sit there and, and be able to be honest with me that I can rely on no matter what. And this is how I need them to do it. And at the same time too, you've got to be able to do the same for them. You have to be able to be there for them how they need you to be there. If you can't give as well as you need to, as, as well as you demand, then you're a problem. Does that make sense? Because you really need to understand that part. If you expect them to give, you have to give two equally. It's not all about you. It's about you both. So they're having just as much fear as you are, which is part of the problem. You're both growing. You are both afraid of being betrayed. Um, afraid of deceit. You've been betrayed before. Both of you. In fact, I'm seeing that the last two relationships you both have been in have had that problem before. So is this going to be your long-term love? Is this going to be the relationship of your dreams? Is this going to be your true soulmate? The answer is yes. But, and I'm going to qualify this with this but, is that you have things to work through. So if you don't give your relationship a chance, then you, you're going to end up coming back together later after you guys grow up. Because that's the problem. Either one of you have grown up enough. Um, age is not a matter of being a grown up. It's emotional maturity and the ability to see past your own needs um, to what the other person needs. That's what the word compromise means. It's not about you giving up everything for the other person. 
it's about being able to compromise and see what they need and what you need and where the middle ground where you both can meet is and that's about being a mature adult in a, in a relationship is and you may not both be at that same point yet to be able to give your relationship a chance so you may need to talk that out it may be that now is not the time you may need some time to work it out apart to come back together if that's the case so be it there's nothing wrong with that just know that this person is meant for you and you may need time in the long run to get to the point where you guys can be together all right that's for the infinite stone so now we're going to go to the next deck next deck next deck next deck next deck i feel like i'm doing like like the uh door of the explorer moment here we're gonna do soda light soda light and let's see if he's the one or she's the one okay interesting <laughs> hmm. intriguing okay so first things first, all that glitters is not gold. Sometimes it's pyrite. <laughs> so first things first. So you got to understand that your relationship may not be based on the firmest of foundations. Um, and it's not saying that there's anything bad about your foundation. It just may be that your guys are brand new uh, and you may need to, to open up your bases a little bit more. Uh, it was great that you guys liked each other because good good googly moogly the man is hot or she is damn fine and god she has a mind on her oh my god she's brilliant as fuck and can you imagine so you gotta understand though a good relationship takes patience and commitment you have to learn how to trust you 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 guys both have trust issues like really no seriously um, so this is the part that you guys are really having to work on. And I know this because you have some isolation and security issues. Um, sometimes a bit of finance issues as well, but the finance thing will work itself out because it's a separate issue, separate from the two of you. It is a personal issue. And a lot of that has to do with back issues with other people. Um, this is more of the fact that you don't feel secure enough to be with somebody that you think is so awesome you're awesome you are worthy like seriously do do that worthy get over it okay get over the insecurity be strong you're the yin and yang you guys fit and fit together you make up a whole you have romantic feelings for each other. We know that you felt trapped before. You felt powerless before in an old relationship. But here's the thing. The worst of that nonsense is gone. It's rock bottom. It's over. It has been over. You guys have chemistry. You guys are belong together. You are in a new place. Observe how you guys really work together. Look outside yourself for a minute. Look at the two of you. If you guys have videotape of, like, if somebody filmed the two of you, actually look at the tape of the two of you. See yourself how outsiders see you. You guys work well together. You guys are going to be together. It's about respecting each other, which you guys both have for one another. It's about being together as a unit. It is about learning to trust, um, just like a child does. It is about being that kind of a person where you can truly be in that learning sensation, learning together to love and be with one another in a balanced relationship. So it is coming. It is something that you can do. 
Are they meant for you? Is it over? Should it be over? No. But you need more time. And you need to take a better look at yourself. A better look at them and realize that they're not above you. They're beside you. They're supporting you. They believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. And believe in them being beside you. And that they truly do care for you. That's what this is about. That they have feelings. That they do care. That this is a relationship that will grow slowly, deeply, firmly. This is going to be a relationship that 50 years down the road kind of thing. You'll be holding hands and people will be looking at you both going, Damn, I hope one day I'll have a relationship like this. That is what your relationship is about. That is the awesome kind of relationship that we're talking about here. So that's it for Sodalite. Oh, congrats. That's pretty awesome, actually. I'm, I'm feeling pretty impressed. I don't know about you all, um, but that's the kind of relationship I would like to have. Um, makes me happy to see stuff like that. So the question is, is who's going to be next on the dial? Who's going to be next on the dial? Who's going to be next on the dial? Uh, so let's see here. We're going to take Moo Kite next. So on our we're going to do Moo Kite. So Moo Kite, let's see you, my friend, and see is he worth it? Is she worth it? Do we need to keep them? Do we? Do we need to dump them? All right. Interesting. So, you think that they are actually committing acts of deceit against you? They're being deceitful, you think. Um... So you're going to actually reach out, say something about it. And you're seeking the truth. You want to know what the hell is going on. You're going to make a choice and so are they. They are feeling in the air about things. In fact, one of the issues that they're having is dealing with self-control, dealing with patience. Um, maybe it, it's not to say that they have anger issues, but it may be the fact that their patience is dealing with the fact that they feel like they're ready to move forward and you feel like you are not so sure. But things aren't all awesome, always the way that they seem to be. There is a decision you have to make soon. Are you in for it or are you not? Now, I will tell you that you are going to pull away. You're going to make that decision to pull away. But this person is actually really loyal of heart. The deceit you think you think they're doing is not what you think. They're actually going to their best friend asking for advice. You haven't met this best friend yet because... They didn't want to admit that their best friend happens to be of the same sex you are. They grew up together. Um, and they were worried that you would think that they were romantically involved with them. So there's going to be some isolation and some insecurity involved. And it's going to be that you are going to have a breakup. It's going to hurt. And it's going to hurt bad. But 
you have to deeply know and believe that that this is the right thing for you and you're not sure right now you're completely unsure whether or not this person is the one and in fact what makes it worse is that you want joy and stability and you feel like that you're not getting this joy and stability that you deserve you feel like that this news is sudden and out of the blue about their best friend and you're like oh my god what the hell why didn't you tell me about this um you feel like that your wish isn't coming true anymore that that you're not getting who you what you thought you had um you feel like you want to be fair about the idea but it, how can you be fair when you've never realized that this person existed and they're just asking you give them a chance give them a chance take a step forward be grounded be grounded with them it's a new love this is a brand new love for you both this is something new that you've never felt before and you've been hurt before so it's asking you to give it a, a, a chance because you deserve love so you're going to walk away at first whether you come back or not that's going to be up to you whether or not you believe them but you will see them with their friend celebrating just celebrating stuff probably best friend is going to be having a good moment with work or something celebrating a work moment and they're going to come over and say hi because you know good memories simple pleasurable memories with you we're going to ask you to come over you're still going to feel the attraction and you're going to have to ask yourself is the worst over are you willing to start over So, are you? Well, Mulekai, that's up to you. Do you believe them or not? That's your reading. It's an intense reading. It's a lot of reading, actually. But you got to make that decision for yourself. So we're going to go to the next reading and for that reading we're going to go to my beautiful, 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 Lepidite. Lepidite, my girlfriend, my purple stone. See my purple stone? It's so pretty. So. Is he worth it? Is he worth it? Mm. I love it when these when cards come up that make you go, what the hell? And it's not that they're contradictory. It's just that the story that they tell shows a time frame that you're going to need more cards. <laughs> so here's the thing. You guys have been together for a while because you guys really think you're in love. Love, love, love. Which is great. I love love. Love is, love is a beautiful a beautiful thing um, but we're not sure really that they're your prince or princess charming and the reason why honestly is you worry about codependency some things that have come up that show that they that there are some 
issues of codependency that come up. Um, the, perhaps that they have too many responsibilities, um, that you even have too many responsibilities, and neither one of you are putting your needs as a couple first. You need to stand on your guys' ground, and like seriously, you need to talk. But what keeps coming up is a message in a bottle, basically saying, help me. Help me! Let me know what's going on! And a journey. So, like a thief in the knife, I'm running away. <laughs> Truly, like a thief in the night, you're running away. Because you need some clarity. You need to think. You need to figure out what's going on. You feel like there's some secrets that this whole big thing dealing with codependency is bringing up. Um, you feel like the enthusiasm and, and, and joy of your relationship has started to wane. Um, no, you guys know that you have a past life relationship together. And you know that sometimes some issues with that comes up. Um, and you realize that you need some healing from some of the issues from the past life relationship. If you're really going to move forward. So what you really need to do is you need to be poised. You need to be balanced. You guys don't have balance right now for yourselves. So what you need to do right now is you need to both have some hermit time. You need to be alone. You need to both be separate um, and make a decision right now whether or not it's going to be right for you guys to ever be back together. Because past life relationships doesn't necessarily mean that you were in a romantic relationship. You may have been siblings. You could have been enemies. Um, so your your soul group contract could have been such that you agreed this lifetime around um, to try a better relationship together to see if it would work. And it may or may not have. And Lapidite, it's an important thing for you you to be able to make a decision on stuff and the reason is is because that for you some of the secrets are burdensome that you keep um you need to be able to confront those secrets for both you and their sake from the past life as well as from this current life there are things that you're hiding that, that you haven't told them that you really need to tell them you've been hopeless and helpless lately this is not a good thing because until you confront yourself you're not going to be able to confront them and whatever you're holding back is you're not paying attention to the red flags in your own life much less the red flags that have been happening for them You've missed something in their life that has hurt them. But you're missing the red flags in your life. It's just now coming up now. Um, so you need to keep an open mind when they start talking about their, their, their past in this lifetime. What has recently hurt them. Because it's going to give you a key of how to be able to handle them and deal with them. It's also going to give you an open idea of what is actually going on with you. What is sparking off you that's making you so insecure with them right now. Um, so... You need to take some action. You need to make a decision when you go on this journey. Are you coming back? Now, the cards say that it's a possibility that you're a couple, um, that romance is in the air. But is it for you? That is it a romance with both of you? Or is it a romance um, possibility? So you got a choice to make. Will you choose them? Or will you choose a new life and possibly a new partnership? Well, that's up to you. Obviously, with this codependent aspect, you have a lot to think about. 
when you walk away for a while and try to get your life into some semblance of order and let them get theirs and theirs. Um, when you start talking again and you try to make um, some clarity of, of your past, you're going to have to make the decision. Do you want to try again or you want to try for a new relationship elsewhere? So that is what your cards are showing, Lepidite. Hope that helps. Definitely not an easy reading, but definitely one that for some of you may actually make a little bit more sense and hopefully will shed some light on why certain things are popping up on your screen right now for you in your relationship. Doesn't necessarily say that it's all negative, but it does tell you that you definitely have some stuff to work on. Um, both of you do. So, Quantum Quattro. Boop, ba -da -da, boop, boop. Let's see what you have to say about this. So... Before you guys were together, you both had problems with attachment. Like, no, seriously, like big time problems with attachment. You either attached too fast, you were afraid of attachment, you were afraid of getting close. But how you guys met was literally serendipity. It was like the craziest way you could have ever met somebody. And you guys still laugh about it now. Um, you kind of like joke about it because you're like, this could never have happened again, even if we had even tried it. Um, we're not quite sure if and how this could ever happen again. And most of your friends say the same thing. We're not quite sure how all those pieces fell together. <laughs> but they did now you're both passionate you're both very self-assured people which is great news um because honestly truthfully you do need to express your love more often to each other um you also feel both feel that your dreams are coming true which is awesome to see the reason why is because your love is a well-deserved reward we also notice that between the two of you it's by the book you guys are like boom 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 it is like reading a romance novel how the two of you got together you had some rough moments that had to be overcome you still have sometimes like a little bit of fussy wussy moments now and then um but overall you guys are together you have financial independence um so it's not like you guys worry about if one of you leaves the other one can't do for themselves but at the same time too you guys really both believe that this could be the one this this is it this is the love of my life um you guys both believe that wishes do come true you guys came into each other's lives when you needed them the most um you guys both believe in fairness you guys both believe in being insightful people that help others you both believe in going for what you desire the most um, but balancing that out with a sense of fairness and fair play it is a romance for the ages you believe truly and wonderfully that the affair of your life is on the road and moving in a forward motion you also have strength in each other you are the strength where they are weak and where you are weak they are strong and it is a self-love for each other and for yourself that you guys truly honestly believe that it is the best um you both believe in hard work you are truly 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 there um for each other you believe that you are optimistic for success together and apart and it's one of the things that your friends all say about you guys is that oh my god they're just like they just like boop 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 we can do this we can do anything 
you truly are about romance and love, about movement, about moving in a passionate embrace, about being together. You nurture your love in many ways. Um, it's been a, a tough road for you both, but at the same time, um, two, you've worked at this relationship. It has not been something you've taken lightly. So for you both, this has been something you truly um, have worked with. So congratulations on that. I'm proud to give you this reading. This is awesome. So way to go, Quantum Quattro. So for all of you who've had your reading today, hopefully this has helped. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, put your information down below. Let me and tell me what kind of reading you want in the future. Um, if there's anything in particular that you're looking forward to or wanting to see more of, let me know. I will be glad to give it a try and a shout out and I will talk to you soon. Bendithian.